Hi. After the frenzied stabbing of a woman and children outside a school in central Dublin, rumours swiftly emerged that the culprit was an Algerian migrant. Later, the immediate area erupted into a riot where vehicles were torched, stores looted and police attacked and injured. Dozens arrested. The Taoiseach, Baradka, top cops blamed the ultra-right for inflaming the mobs. This was a riot just waiting to happen. Anti-migrant sentiment had already resulted in assaults, tents set ablaze. Anti-migrant propaganda, much of it online, has shown migrants, refugees fighting each other on the, or the native Irish on the streets and hustling women. To deny there is a problem, one among many, including lack of housing, amenities, facilities at the lower end of the scale, is to bury the head in the sand. Result? Resentment, misplaced anger, directed against refugees and migrants. So finally, in Dublin, Thursday night, it all exploded. People gathered late afternoon in the area, finally clashing with the police. Stores were plundered as what was described as opportunistic elements descended onto the area. Such was the unleashed anger, some of the Irish looters actually clashed with foreign-born looters. Police, however, were the main target, although some assumed to be migrants were attacked, along with a migrant hotel. Vehicles were also burnt out. Although some right-wingers were in attendance, stirring it up, it looks like much of this was unorganised, spontaneous, propelled by combinations of frustration, racism, despair, nationalism. Interesting to see the tricolour displayed by rioters. This could have happened, and will, anywhere in Europe, here included. Any incident could produce a similar reaction. Against the background of increasing right-wing populism, ultra-right parties springing up, the slogan, refugees are welcome here, is irrelevant. Nothing more than the liberal leftist virtual signalling, causing little but resentment. Class politics from below, facing up honestly to the uncomfortable, disturbing reality, spreading and encouraging anti-capitalist, anti-establishment politics as the only way out for us and our co-malcontents and the rest of the working class. Bye.